We begin with the latest high-tech advance in DNA tracking meant to catch burglars and thieves and those who broker their illegally gained valuables like jewelry. It'll start with a trial program at Huntington Station where homeowners will be signed up for the new UV light encoding of valuables using DNA that's been extracted from everyday plants. I'm excited that Huntington will be one of the first in the nation to trial this technology. The technology Suffolk legislator William Spencer is talking about is called DNA Net. Lawmakers and police joined the head of the local startup tech company that created this kit that homeowners can use to mark their valuables with DNA extracted from common plants found in homes and yards. Application is easy. Just swab the DNA onto an item, creating a marking just smaller than a dime. Jim Hayward demonstrated how easy it is for police officers to then shine a UV light on valuables like this watch. The plant DNA then shines brightly and can even be sent by computer to a lab to match it to stolen items listed on the company's database. An infinitesimal amount of each unique mark can identify an item as belonging to you or to your family. The pilot program will begin with selected burglary-prone neighborhoods in Huntington Station. Police say it will help them track stolen items that wind up in pawn shops and prove they actually belong to crime victims. We definitely went through the police, went through, you know, pawn shops to see if there anything was found or anything, but nothing. Queens resident Burley Germain says her mother's jewelry was stolen and she would definitely sign up for DNA Net if the program becomes available citywide. I think that'll be a great, great little upgrade to it, it, it gives you a secure sense of security when you have your jewelry. For now, the company behind the DNA plant technology will try to sign up 500 homes in Huntington Station, and if all goes well, the program will be expanded elsewhere. And joining us now, one of the bill's main sponsors, Dr. William Spencer, a Democrat in the Suffolk County Legislature, and also the other gentleman you saw in our story, Jim Hayward. He is, of course, the CEO of Applied DNA Sciences, came up with this idea, and welcome to the show, gentlemen. Thank you. Wow, it just Thank keeps you. Uh, just keeps improving. You know, every time we turn around, there's a new advance in the use of DNA. Talk a little bit about that, uh, Mr. Hayward. Well, it's an incredibly moving, fast-moving field. You know, every uh, minute there are new ways of detecting it, new ways of using it. And we're right at that vanguard. Well, everybody wants to know how does it work, and I know you brought a few props here to show us. Uh, can sure. you give us a run through of how it would be used for something that, let's say, you had a valuable here? Uh, I believe you still have your watch you could use, couldn't you? Sure. It, Why don't you do it again and show us how this works? It couldn't people be. People are like, well, how do you do it? Could not be simpler. So a, a simple DNA mark that's derived from a botanical genome, from a plant genome. Any plant? Any plant we wow. could start with, and it's engineered to form a unique mark that represents my home, my home address. So the homeowner paints this onto the valuable? Or and you apply it, about a dime-sized mark, and the mark is invisible in ambient light, and the police are trained to recognize the appearance of the light under UV, as you can see here. Yeah, turn the watch a little bit, and you can see the light there bouncing off of it. There you go. And so that shows up. So Brilliantly. Now, so now you can kind of track your uh, your items. Will they have to do register with your company once they get joined? Yes, they company? register on a secure cloud-based website. And if the item is, uh, God forbid, stolen or even lost, the police can screen the item for the presence of the DNA. And then we test for it, identify the homeowner through the uniqueness of the mark that's been applied. Well, there you go. Now, Dr. Spencer, this seems like it would make it really hard to fence stolen items through places like pawn shops where that does happen or other similar businesses. Is that part of the aim here? Absolutely. Uh, a lot of times when there is a, a crime, the uh, thieves want to get rid of the items as quickly as possible. So they usually go to the local pawn shop. And now with this technology, it's going to make it a little more difficult uh, because now these items can be traced right back to their owner. So uh, when is this going to start up and, and uh, what has to come first before homeowners can take advantage of this? Certainly. Well, we have been working with Applied DNA. They're a Long Island company and uh, they've proven themselves around the world. And uh, we want to face the unique challenges that we have here in Long Island. So we're looking to uh, start a pilot this summer and be able to roll it out very quickly. So the police have to identify the neighborhoods first. So that's going to take a couple more months. Well, certainly, but we're going to start the pilot in the Huntington Station area. So somebody's listening now in Huntington Station. They say, hey, I want to try that. What do they do? Well, uh, we are getting people who are interested 
but they will also be able to uh, participate if they want to go and get the kit for themselves. So how do they contact someone? Do they call uh, your office or do they call the police? I mean, do they say, hey, put me on that list if it happens. They can reach out to my legislative office. Uh, there are also uh, civic groups, Huntington Matters, that are also taking people that are interested. And uh, what we will do is as we uh, do intelligence-led uh, uh, placement, uh, this will allow for us to uh, maximize the benefit of the pilot program. Mr. Hayward, this seems like it would have even other applications, perhaps. Oh, the applications are broad. This is really a technology that could change culture. So we already protect the Department of Defense against the invasion of counterfeit microchips using a very similar platform. Tell us more about your company. You're a local established company. You're part of this uh, high-tech uh, culture we're trying to build on. That's Island, right. right. Long Island has an uncanny history that really benefits companies like ours. It's a corridor of DNA innovation from Cold Spring Harbor to Stony Brook to Brookhaven National Laboratories. It's a perfect fit for us and we have a wonderful employee pool and as a consequence some of the best scientists available in the industry. Now if this proves successful uh, do you think it can be expanded? How long are you going to uh, run a trial period before you decide if it can be expanded and where would you expand it to? Well I would like to see it throughout all of Suffolk and throughout all of Long Island but uh, being a, a representative for Suffolk County um, we have uh, unique challenges where uh, we want to uh, deal with the issues of uh, gang violence uh, and a lot of organized crime really starts with uh, low-level petty theft. And so this is a deterrent program that will ultimately help keep us safer. And there's also been a toughening of regulations uh, anyway for pawn shops, right? Tell I think there are photo ID and several more things, no? Certainly, and, and um, you know, I applaud the pawn shop owners that want to work with us to uh, try to make sure that they're not uh, dealing with stolen goods. So taking this program where uh, a, a pawn shop uh, may be able to identify that this is a stolen item and now we have a database to be able to track uh, who brought that item there, we can uh, now connect the dots very quickly. And just, uh, we have a few seconds left, uh, Mr. Hayward, what types of valuables would be protected by this? Well, this is a technology that has been deployed all across Europe, so we're very active in Sweden, in Copenhagen, we use it to mark cars, to mark artwork, wow. to mark really any kind of Anything valuable. valuable. Well, we want to thank you, uh, gentlemen, for coming on with us today, Dr. William Spencer thank and Jim you. Hayward from Apply DNA Sciences, uh, Dr. Spencer with the Suffolk Legislature, and you can contact these folks if you're interested in this program, a new way that DNA is being used to, to track crooks.